Hi, I'm Brandon from Intentional3D.com. Today I'm going to show you how to change the filament on your MakerBot Replicator 2. This is a simple process, but it's important to do it correctly to avoid tangled spools of filament and interruptions in long prints. So let's get started. First, unload the previous filament by going to Utilities, Change Filament, Unload. Then wait for the MakerBot Replicator 2 to heat its extruder. Once the extruder has heated up, remove the filament guide tube, push down on the extruder lever, and pull the filament from the extruder. Next, Remove the filament from the filament guide tube by spooling it back onto the spool. Once the filament is removed, thread it into the hole on the side of the spool to keep the filament from being tangled while in storage. To remove the spool, squeeze the spool holder and pull the filament spool off the replicator too. To put on a new spool, again, squeeze the spool holder and push the spool against the replicator too until it clicks into place. Remove the filament from the hole that it has been stored in and thread it into the filament guide tube. Be sure that the open end of the filament is on the right side of the spool lined up with the filament guide tube. If it comes from the left end of the spool and goes into the filament guide tube, the extruder will jam. To load the filament, go to Utilities, Change Filament, Load, and again wait until the Replicator 2 heats its extruder. While the extruder is heating up, cut a clean edge on your filament using a pair of scissors. Once the replicator says it's ready, load the filament. Push down on the extruder nut lever and thread the filament into the guide hole. Once you feel the extruder tugging on the filament, release the extruder lever. Replace the filament guide tube. Allow the extruder to continue pushing the filament until you see a blob of plastic coming out the edge of the nozzle. And that's how you properly change the filament on a MakerBot Replicator 2. If you had any troubles loading or unloading the plastic, you might have a clog in your extruder. Check out our other videos to see how to fix this. 